Hi everybody, I'm vlogging today and uh, so I'm starting the morning with exercise, but I just wanna show you my living room really quickly because this is changing a bit later today and I've we've started like moving things around. So let me show you our living room, which by the way, isn't fancy or anything, but we're getting a new couch today. So our TV and bookshelves, like they all used to be along that back wall. And so we moved them over to that wall in order to make room for an L-shaped sofa that's coming here. It's gonna be like, um, like one big thing, like, you know, all pushed together. Whereas right now we have two different couches because we're just, we're borrowing that one from my sister. So we've had that couch for a while. And then we have this one and the other half we already moved out of here. That's like a, it's like a big, um, really comfortable, but like deep couch, at least on this end, it's really deep, but that end it's more normal anyway. So the point is we've been using these two couches um, for a long time, just kind of like shifting them around the room. We've at least got things moving. I still have some space to exercise today and hopefully we'll after the new couch comes, but like look at all the divots in the carpet now from where we used to have the couches set up. So that's good, that's gonna be fun. We can see that now. Um, I do need to give everything one good final vacuum once everything's moved out of here but we're not gonna move everything out until a little bit later. It's barely been 10 minutes and I'm out of breath. And miserable. exercising and yogaing and I had a smoothie and I took a shower and we've just moved the couches out of our living room where the new couch is coming and they called and said they'd be here in like 45 minutes so I wanted to get everything moved and vacuumed so that's what we did were you my helper or did you just supervise there we go everything's moved and when you move your furniture you realize how quickly not just that the dents in the carpet look terrible but like spots, I've got all kinds of spots on the carpet. And, and there could be two explanations and there's one of them. So I think after everything's in place, I might bust out the carpet cleaner. Yes, you're partly to blame, I hate to say it, but it's the truth. So here's the old couch and I just took a couple of pictures of it and put it up on our like neighborhood website. It's called Next Door. I don't know if anybody else uses that, but I do. Um, and so I took some pictures and put it up as free. Like somebody can just come take it. If they're willing to come take it, they can just have it. The moving truck is here. I'm trying not to be a weirdo spy out the window, but I kind of want to watch. But I want to let them do their thing. A little princess. Oh, she's not thrilled. Not at all. Well, she was still hiding from okay. the delivery. <gasps> Look at her nails. Stop her. <laughs> what a bad girl. Bed of the bone. Anyway, this is the new couch. I'm not sold on it at the moment. There's nothing I can do about that. But there it is. Get your nails out of the brand new couch, please. 
so, I mean, it looks big in person, sort of, but not like, it's, I don't know what I expected. I expected this like to lose the whole room. That's not how we measured. I think I'm just second guessing because I'm a really good second guesser. But we wanted something L-shaped. It comes all the way to this wall. It does not go all the way to the back wall. We're going to still maybe put some real skinny little tables back there. We're working on that. Um, coffee table fits there. Fine. In a couple weeks, we have an ottoman coming, but it just they couldn't deliver it today. Then I have um, the matching end table there for now. And I, I would have put the end table over there against that wall, like right up against the couch. But because... It's Christmas time. I think I'd like to put the Christmas tree there. So by getting this new couch and rearranging the furniture, I lost my like go-to Christmas tree spot. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna try and put it there. I've started lunch. I'm just making some quick like rice and veggie stir fry concoction thing. And while the guys were here putting together the couch, I, I mean, they didn't have to put together much, but he's, they still had to put together a few things. Um, I got, the dishes mostly done and oh I've got laundry and I've got to go put the clothes that are in the washer in the dryer. So because we have a new couch I have to figure out where my spot is going to be because I always like have a spot on the couch but since things have been moving around and this is here I don't know where my spot should be. Should I sit here so I can be by the coffee table? Or I mean the end table should I sit here so I can be by the coffee table? Like maybe I want the corner all for me? Hmm, I don't know. So here's my lunch concoction. It's wild rice with um, peas and corn, green beans, and some like riced vegetables. There was like, it was a bag of riced cauliflower and sweet potatoes, just whatever I had handy in the freezer. And um, then I put some stir fry sauce. Like I mixed a bunch of like stuff to like stir fry sauce a little bit of peanut oil, um, a little soy sauce, and a little sweet chili sauce. I don't know if I needed to really do all that. I probably could have done just fine with the um, stir fry sauce by itself. But you know what? I had all that stuff. So I am being bad and I'm eating my lunch on the brand new couch. But I always eat on the couch. Okay, now it's time to try this carpet cleaner. This is a big one that my mom gave me. And, um, yeah, I'm not super familiar with it yet, but I put hot water and a little bit of solution in there. And I know how to turn it on, but I don't know how to get it, like, going with the water. This is like surprising. This is very surprising because I just vacuumed today. Like where has all this gross cat hair been hiding? And like we're living with it. It's been living in this living room with us this whole time. And no matter how many times I vacuum, like it's not coming up until now. So this thing, I mean, it's a little bit of a pain to get the hang of. Uh, I'm warm. I'm grossed out by how much cat hair is coming out of the carpet. And this is turning into a, like a bit bigger of a project than I thought it was going to be. It's taking a lot longer too. You have to go kind of slowly, at least I go kind of slowly. Um, Cause you know, like I want the carpet to have a chance to actually be scrubbed by the bristles. And then you have to go over it a bunch of times to get up as much water as you can. So this is turning into like a whole thing. But I think at the end of this, I'm gonna be feeling better that all this cat hair and stuff has come out of the carpet. All righty, it's all done. I think it looks nice. Um, I, I do think I see a little bit of an improvement. It could just be wishful thinking, but I think it looks nice. And at least I know 
that the living room is cleaner. And I won't show you the rest of the cat hair that came up because it's gross. I'm just amazed that so much cat hair came up. And um, yeah, so I'm done with this room. It's gonna take a while to dry, I think, but that's okay. So now I've decided to be super duper proactive and I'm gonna go upstairs and vacuum the whole hallway upstairs. And then I'm gonna use this carpet cleaner in the upstairs hallway, but I'm gonna take a little break first and I'm going to open my chocolate advent calendar for today. So here are my advent calendars. This Harry Potter one is new for my friend Nisha and because I don't have my Christmas tree up, I don't wanna open it because I wanna start as soon as my Christmas tree's up and then I can like take the ornaments out and put it up on my tree right away every day. So I'm just saving that till the tree is actually up. Don't tip over. Okay, and then I have my Harry Potter Lego advent calendar. I guess I can open that now. So today's the fifth, so I will open the fifth. And then it comes with a little um, like figure or something. And then on the inside of the door for that day, it gives you the instructions on how to put it together. Dun, dun, dun. Here it is. All right, I have to put these things together. As you can tell, look at day one is Harry himself but I've just, I've just been laying them out so far, but I will put them together uh, probably soon. So I'll close that door. No, I said I was only gonna open my chocolate advent calendar, but I went for it. Oh, I opened my Lego one too. Okay, day five. Sometimes these really do, it really takes me a second to find these. Uh, and this is my Lint advent calendar, which I got at the Lint store at the outlet mall. Day five. Oh, it's a big box. So it has a, the regular like cardboard outside, but then it also has a little tissue paper on the inside of every, every day. And then a wrapped candy. Oh my gosh, look at this chocolate bear. Oh, he's big. That's nice. Let me show you a couple of the other days. So I've eaten a couple pieces. I ate one of these chocolate balls. One day came with two of these chocolate balls. And then another day had a little different shape chocolate, I don't know. It looks almost kind of like in the shape of Reese's peanut butter cup. But anyway, so then um, one of the days had this little elf guy holding, uh, I think it's a puppy. And then another day had this little bit smaller gold wrapped bear holding a present. But today it's this big old bear. Oops, there he goes as I break him. Look at that guy. Oh, is he cute? Oh, I didn't know he was gonna be so big and adorable. No, I don't want to. I don't want to eat him. Okay, I'll save him, and instead I will eat the elf guy. It's really soft inside. It's not just like hollow or exactly solid milk chocolate, but it's filled with something a little bit crunchy. I'm not sure what, but it's really good. Oh, I bit off his head. All right, yeah, I'm gonna put together Harry. From the advent calendar. I don't mind showing the front of it too. I haven't shown. Here's the front of the box. So spoilers, you know, all the things that come in it. And it's alright, and then it opens like that. Here was spot number one. With the little instructions. Oh, well it just shows Harry complete. I guess you don't shouldn't need instructions on how to complete it. Okie okay, doke. And the um, dishwasher's on and we're watching the office. There's Harry's legs put on his body. Here's his little face. Oh, look, it's got two sides. Harry's scared and Harry's happy. We'll do happy Harry. Ooh, that's a tight squeeze. Okay, now his hair. Looking good, looking a little messy. Kind of a goblet of fire length. And this is confusing. Is this two wands held together by some kind of piece in the middle? I think this is the wand. I think I got it. Let's put it in his hand. Da da da! I hope that's the wand or else he's holding a random piece of plastic. Oh, moving his hair. There's Harry. Okay, day two. I think was 
this bag. Where's day two? Here it is. Yes, it's a little, looks like a little Hogwarts Express. On the top, is that the tree? Did I do it right? Yeah, I did it. Ooh. You got your ornaments in the... Oh. That's okay. It's you can fine. just pull those off and move okay. them. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They're supposed to be like on opposites. There. Okay. One left. This one from today. Piece five. It's ban it's a like banner. Okay, there's all my pieces. Day one is Harry. Day two is the train. Day three are two trees. Day four is one tree. Day five are banners. Look like for Gryffindor colors. Or is it Gryffindor? And Hufflepuff. Anyway, that's cute. So I'm going to put these little extra pieces in a Ziploc bag and then put this back on the counter. So since I'm done with my Lego putting together, uh, I'm going to start. I'm not doing this whole puzzle tonight, but I'm going to start this puzzle. I do it pretty much every Christmas time. Frosty the Snowman puzzle. And we're either going to keep the office on or watch a Christmas movie. You haven't decided. He's not listening. But I have Frosty and I have a little glass of eggnog, or like a medium sized glass of eggnog. And uh, yeah, just feeling festive. I'd say he approves of the new couch officially. And what about that little bean? Hi, princess. She likes the back of the cushions. Yeah. I'm gonna make some hot cocoa now. So the best way that I can do it is to actually see how much milk I need rather than just guessing. And then I'm left, sometimes with a lot left over. Okay, that's good. Or um, sometimes I don't make enough for two mugs. So if I fill the mugs first, then I know exactly how much milk I need. And I'm currently using flax milk because wherever I, oh boy, it's hard to pour out of Santa. Because wherever I went grocery shopping, I guess, didn't have oat milk. So I'm back to flax for at least now. I'm almost out. Coco's ready, so I'm gonna ladle it out and then put on some whipped cream with my new fancy whipped cream maker, which I'm just learning how to use now. And I'm not good at it yet. Okay, I wanna try the fancy whipped cream maker on our Coco's. Okay. So straight, you know, I don't, okay, straight upside, like upside down. It's kind of, does this thing have to be upside down? The tip has to be straight up and down? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a lot of whipped cream, which is how I like it, whoa. But it comes out so aggressively. I still have to get the hang of it a little bit, but that's a-okay. All right, would you like anything on the top of your whipped cream? I was just gonna put some sprinkles. Okay. Can I put some sprinkles on yours though? Little cutie ones. I'm going to. All right, I'm gonna have to hurry because they're gonna start spilling over. I think they look pretty good. I, I've gotta work on that whipped cream. I'll keep working on it. Come here, little cutie. So we're going to open some marshmallows, Disney marshmallows. Um, I opened two the other day, and I'm gonna open two now. So these were all gifted to me by my friend Nisha, and I opened two in our gift exchange video, and then uh, I wanted to save two for later. So it's later, it's been a couple days since I opened that box, so I'd like to open the other two right now. And this is who we got already. And I put them on my shelf, uh, in my, like on my Disney display shelf in our office, but I took them out so I could show you for the video. So that's, that's the Mickey Mini we've got so far. They're very nice and squish, squish, squishy. All right, little bub, you gotta be mama's helper. Here we go. Let's see. 
What should we open first? Well, last time we opened the Mickey first, so this time let's open Minnie Mouse first. See, let me just grab our feet. Hi, you come here and help me too. Okay. Oh, look at this Minnie. She's in pink. Oh, that's my favorite color. Oh, how perfect. Look, cutie, I got a pink squishy Minnie. Isn't that good luck? That's awesome. Good. Okay, there's my mints. Mm, if they can stand. Yeah, so cute. All right, that was great. Now, let's see Mickey. And Mickey is... Oh, is that like a, a Steamboat Willie hat? All right, now I've got to look it up. Look it. He's almost the same, but this Mickey has a hat on. No, I don't think it's Steamboat Willie. I know he had a hat on in Steamboat Willie, but I don't think it's Steamboat Willie. And look who came to check it out. Yeah, so unless, I don't know if this Mickey's hat is from anything. If it's from anything, please let me know. But otherwise, it's just Mickey in a cute hat, which is perfectly fine with me. Look at him. Aw. And Hugo, look, you've got new friends. Okay, you're antisocial. Oh, and I haven't shown this yet, I don't think, but this is uh, a band button that I just ordered in the past couple of weeks. It's off of Etsy. And so you can put it on, obviously on your band. So this is my Fitbit that it fits on perfectly. And it could also work for an Apple watch or a magic band. So I got myself this pink sparkly Mickey head and I think it's very cute and it has not popped off accidentally at all. It's great. I don't have any issues with it. And I think it's adorable. So it, like I put it on and I basically have not taken this thing off uh, since putting it on the Fitbit because I love it so much and I just like having the little Disney touch with me like every day. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. So thanks very much for hanging out with me today. Do you wanna say goodnight? <laughs> I think that little whisper means goodnight. Does that mean goodnight? You already had dinner so you're all set. You're ready to go. Thanks for watching guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.